Dragon Cannibal has escaped from Septimus. Great. This is basically going to be me for a bit, just defending Dragonstone and Driftmark. I really, I, I'd really like the modders when they redo this mod for Crusader Kings three to uh, to fix that so that you know Aegon does something a bit less predictable and boring. Captured some idiots. Humphrey Bracken has been captured by Thaddeus Rowan. Okay. Suck it, Bracken. For any uh, Song of Ice and Fire fans out there, I absolutely prefer the Blackwoods to the Brackens. Most people do, but there are a few uh, oddballs out there. Let him rot. Fuse them together still. Kendall died. Well, you were already fighting for me, so I presume your dad died. Yeah. Lord Gunther. And so Lord Kendall has taken up the fight. Good lad. Was Robin Darkwin? Or was it meant to be this guy? It might be meant to be this guy. He becomes Kingsguard. I think. After the war in canon. Or does he? No, it's, it's Massey, isn't it? Yeah, Robin Massey, this guy. Wow. We, we might get to take out both of their big hit and dragon riders straight off the bat because Aemond is now on Driftmark as well. As you can see, having three dragons in one battle just instantly means you win, basically. Oh, we captured one eye? Oh, yeah. Come here, you little fucker. News from Driftmark, my lady. During the war in Dragonstone, the dragon riders Prince Aemon Targaryen, rider of Vagar, and Sir Hugh Hammer of Vermithor. Met in fierce combat, dragons drive each other relentlessly. Hugh and Vermithor avail, killing Vagar. And we didn't have to kamikaze at this time to get it done and we've captured Aegon, uh, Aemon One Eye. Now in canon thank you Hugh, that's a reward for you as well now in canon Aemon actually killed my son Luke at Storm's End um, which funny enough Luke was the one who took his eye out so suck on that, you got half blinded by a five year old where is it? Here we go. Let him rot. Execute imprisoned. I could do that. But that gets me the trait of torture. It makes me really, really not liked. Uh, beheading is what would normally be done for a noble. But uh, I'm feeling vindictive. You tried to kill my son, you know. Have him hanged. Kenning takes up arms for me against the Lannisters. That's cool. Go destroy this little army here, and then I'll set sail for the mainland, which is where all the uh, the Targaryen. I should sorry, the Green armies are. How do I want Viserys educated? Uh, ooh. I don't know actually. Viserys in canon is basically good at everything. Uh, numbers, I guess. Be a future hand of the king for uh, for Jace. Ironrod. <laughs> what a name. Jasper Ironrod. Oh, wait, I know who this guy is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was just a generated character. News from the Battle of Fair Isle. Your enemy, Lord Paramount Jason Lannister, has been slain. Killed in direct single combat by the enemy commander, Lauren Greyjoy. And he has become Lauren the Lion Slayer. So who are you? Your cousins of some sort to Dalton, yep. Well done, hopefully that 
takes the Westerlands completely out of the war. No, uh, Lorien has uh, taken up his father's sword. Why does this guy always end up in the Kingsguard? I don't get it. He didn't think canon at all. <laughs> like, ever. <laughs> Yeah, Dragonstone doesn't really grow much of anything anyway. It's going to be growing even less now. Monford Valerian was captured in battle. Yeah, the Valerians, typically speaking... I say typically speaking. House Valerian itself, its lord, Corlys, is like my closest... is Rhaenyra's closest ally. But... Corlys has... Some uh, some nep some great nephews and stuff. No, they're on our side. Where is he? Yeah, he's got some great nephews. By this guy, Damien. Who uh really, really do not like us. And they are actually fighting against us. Um But you know, that's fine. Out of respect to Lord Corliss, I will uh I will leave you be. So I'll bring these ships around here, and then we will go to the mainland to uh, to take the fight to King's Landing. That'll be merciful. I need to get my intimidation back down to normal levels after executing Aemond. Now, ladies, the Red Queen has arrived at our court. What? So, for some reason or another, uh, what, what would she be to me? Corliss's wife, Rainey's, has ended up in my court, so, you know, I've uh, put her in charge of the army. She's pretty badass in the uh, in the book as well. That is, unf ah, that's a spoiler, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll cut that out. You're going away, you're going away, you're going away. It's fine, I'll be able to take him. Yep. Just a can drag one failed. You fool. Stop trying to catch cannibal, it's not gonna work. So we go to take King's Landing. I don't really expect this war to take too long. Uh, so the series will either be really short, or or we'll go into the, the reign of Jacaris after Rhaenyra dies as well. Ramping his skills every day, good lad. Yeah, he looks like he's going to be pretty good. Are you ready to... no win? It's weird that I'm not allowed to use you yet. High-value prison from the Siege of the Red... Unfortunately for you, being uh, so badly burned and wounded means we've caught King Aegon. I imagine we probably find him, like, uh, in his bed, all wounded and unable to move. So when we capture the castle, he's just, he's just defenseless. Uh, the rest of his family's in hiding... If I don't have to kill Helena, I don't really want to. 
Speaking of the war not taking very long, this might be a one epi one or two episode thing. Because we've beat him. We've caught him, we've beat him. In force of demands. Queen Rhaenyra has usurped the title from Aegon Targaryen. Usurped High Lordship, Seven Kingdoms, we're now Queen. And the Dance of Dragons has ended and we've won. Capture his treasury, which is very nice. One children lack guard. Several children lack guardian, actually. Right, I got a whole lot of stuff to go through. I fulfilled my ambition, which is to win the war. Now I want to have a daughter, I guess. The war has been won. Our enemies' armies have been crushed, and the loyalist forces have been defeated. Lord Paramount Lorian Lannister, one of your opponents, has been brought before you to hear your judgment. Now, Lannister, I will leave him be. Mainly because it was his father, Jason, who actually made the decision. You're a three-year-old, I don't blame you. And also, you didn't actually do anything to me. I don't think I even crossed, came across your armies once in this fight, because Aegon and Aemond were reckless idiots. Uh, Arkin Crane, before the judgment, leave him be. Tyler Norcross. Yeah, all of these are just, like, minor lords from, like... The Reach and the Riverlands and stuff. I don't, you know, I'm not going to hold it against them too much. Red Wine, leave him be. Bracken, leave him be. This bastard here. I don't have a just cause to kill him. I wish I did, because ah, oh, he's just the absolute worst. Uh, Put you to the side for one now, you to the side for one now. Deal with you too later, I've got something special planned for you. Right, the Kingsguard that went against the King's ruling and fought for Aegon instead. You know, I'll, I'll spare your lives, but I'm not, I'm not having you guard me. You clearly have loyalty issues. So, uh, go away. Willis Fell, go away. Eric Cargill, go away. Hey, at least you survived the war this time, dude. Actually, I can say that to all of you, but you in particular, because you're the only cool one on Aegon's Kingsguard. Not fit to say Kingsguard, you. Unlike the others, whose only crime is being disloyal, you actually had a big part in causing all this. Hence, hence why you are the Kingmaker. Or, you were in canon, you failed to make a king this time, so, you know, get fucked. Turn into the dungeons. Owen Foss away. I'll judge his family justly. And now as for you two. You almost killed my son. And you are the family that was directly behind all of this. And so... Uh, mm, I mean, I'm willing to let you live, but... You're not keeping hold of your domains. Oh, fucking Christ, I've got so much to go through. This will all be edited down, you only see the important parts. The Brathians have declared a war of independence. Kingmaker has declared a war against tyranny, and Hightower has declared independence. Three more wars to fight, they'll be easy enough to deal with. Helena of the defeated royal Targaryen family has been brought before you. What should be done with her? Throw her in a dungeon. Crush him as well, crush him as well, crush him as well. They will surely honour their obligations. 
This is new. I've not seen this before. Your succession to the Iron Throne after Aegon's death has triggered... Aegon's death? Has triggered unrest throughout the realm. Challenges to Targaryen rule are emerging, with many small folks and other bandits and outlaws causing trouble. Well, you'll meet a dragon, then. I'm told they work wonders for quelling unrest. Long live the queen. Throw him in the dungeon. And pause this to get through all of these. I'll have to sort all my stuff out as well. Interestingly, about the... Why are you... Oh, right, because you're a great lord. Called. I'm just... <sighs> I don't, I'm hesitant to say what I want to say about this character and what House of Dragons are going to be doing with him because it could come across so wrong. But that's such a dumb casting choice. Just main, mainly because he is descendant from the same race of people as the Targaryen family are. And not only that, but this guy Viserys, his parents are brother and sister. Their parents are also brother and sister. And their mother is a Valerian. So if the Valerians were a, a black family, then Jaehaerys and Alison would have been black as well. So would Balan and Alyssa, and therefore so would Viserys and Daemon. And so Damon being played by white as snow Matt Smith would make no sense. So clearly, they're just trying for a bit of diversity for the sake of it and have picked, like, the stupidest character law-wise to, to apply that to. You could, you could have made Kristen Cole black if you wanted and there wouldn't have been an issue. You could have done... Uh, I couldn't do the Baratheons because they're already done. Could, could you have done the high towers? Maybe. Uh, who else is important? Blackwoods, you could have done. Uh, couldn't do the Tullys, we've already met them in the phrase as well. Um, could have done the other small council members, Jasper Wilde. You know, his race isn't important to the plot of the story. Ah, uh, it's just a dumb decision. And I don't see Matt Smith as Damon either. And Rhaenyra's actress is young, is is older than the actress for Alicent. Like, what 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 sense does that make? Ah, oh, it's. I I have high hopes for for House of Dragons, but really low expectations. The decisions that have been made so far make me wonder if they actually know anything about what they're doing. Why are you no longer my vassal? That's weird. You're still in my court, though. That's odd. Let's get rid of this. Corlys doesn't want to come to war this time. A couple of minor lords south of the Blackwater have risen for Kristen. All these guys are prisoners from the various houses that initially fought against me. Wards, I'll say, not prisoners. You know, they'll be treated very well. Unless their families try anything against me. Craven Lionel Tyrell has failed to answer my call to arms, so he's not fighting for me this time. Two of you have been imprisoned. could torture them, but I'm not going to because I'm not that cruel. Aegon will either be executed or sent to the Night's Watch. Helena I'm going to let live. I'm a tyrant apparently. Probably because I killed her and did all this and telling them to go up themselves. Oh well, at least it's close to canon.
Right. So the Dance of Dragons is officially over. Aemond, Aemond and Vega are dead. Aegon is dragonless and imprisoned, and so is his sister slash wife, Helena, although she does still have a dragon. Darren is still in the field, but I'll be able to, and fighting for the high towers, which is a problem. So actually, I guess technically the, the dance isn't over because there is still a dragon rider opposing me, which we'll have to deal with. Uh, this is a character that probably, from what I've heard so far, isn't going to be in the show. Like they've cut his character completely, which I disagree with because he's... Basically, the only character on the green faction that is sympathetic in any sense, actually. Uh, Aemon's a monster. Aegon is an idiot and becomes a monster. Helena. Actually, no. Helena, I feel very sorry for in the books. She has a rough deal of it. And the kids, obviously. But they're probably not going to have big roles. Hey, at least they all survived. All three of these kids. Uh, I'm not going to kill them. I'm not just going to let them run about free and do whatever they want. Because, you know, dragons and that's a problem. But, you know, when I catch them, they'll be able to, you know, they'll, 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 have, they'll be comfortable. They'll be safe. Um, but, yeah, the, the big chunk of the war is over. I've taken King's Landing. I'm crowned Queen. Which is really weird to say. Uh, and we'll deal with the various aftermaths uh, next time.